Hey everybody, what's going on? Audrey here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to me, I post faith videos every single Wednesday. I sprinkle in some homeschool videos as well. So today we are, tis the season for communion. And so we are going over some first Holy Communion gifts for that special communicant in your life. So our son this year, he made his first Holy Communion and it was amazing. I am so grateful that he has been able to receive uh, two more sacraments, which is great. And he is filled with grace and um, he is amazing. He really is. Like, I know that is like mama boasting and stuff, but no, seriously, like my son uh, and daughter, my children and my godchildren and my niece, they are so much further ahead in their faith life than I was even at like 25. So it is amazing um, their understanding of especially the Eucharist and how much they crave the Eucharist. Oh my God, that's awesome. So I wanted to share with you some gift ideas for that special someone in your life. So the first thing that I wanted to show you, I've gone over this before. I'm gonna post the link in the description box below for where to get this stuff, in addition to um, videos where I actually show you the inside of them. And so the first one is this. I, whoop, light on there but this is the catechism of the seven sacraments and what i love about this is that it goes through all seven sacraments why we do it what we do it was created by a catholic family there is another lego book that was not created by a catholic so make sure that you do your due diligence and actually take a peek at what is inside but this one actually was created by a Catholic family. The kids look at it all of the time. They read it and it takes you on the journey of two different Lego people, the a boy and a girl. The girl has questions, the boy has answers. Um, it shows you the rosary, how to pray the rosary and why we pray the rosary. But specifically for the Eucharist, it's really, really great how they do it. They talk about Passover, the fulfillment of the fourth cup when our Lord died and so forth so this is a really great place to start and the cost honestly the, the cost matches the value of this book it really really does okay next up is this book the weight of a mass so funny little story about this book is when my daughter was making her first holy communion several years ago we went to the retreat and the director of religious education, she took out this book and she read it. And I was like, wow, I was like, that's a really cool book. So she read it to them and it's the weight of a mass, the, a tale of faith. I was like, that is an excellent book. Okay, funny. So God is amazing. So I'm going through the bookshelf and I took everything off and I'm reorganizing. And then out pops this. I have no clue where this came from. My parents didn't get it. My sister didn't get it. I don't know where this book came from, but I'm saying that God put this book in my house. You need to get a copy of it. But yeah, it's it's all about the it's all about the mass in a very unique way. So go ahead, get this book for them as well so that they can understand and have a very deep meaning, a deep understanding of the mass. So it really is, it really is neat how, how they talk about the mass. All right, next up. So these books are really, really good for boys and girls. It's called the Saint Chronicles. So I have two of them that are here. There's four in total and you can check it out. Look, it's in comic book form and it's really, so it's really, really neat, but it goes through the saints and there are five saints in each book. 
And so when you times that by four, there are 20 saints that they can learn about. I, I love talking about the saints because saints are people too. They are not made up. They are not these mythical people. They roamed the earth and they walked around and some of them even talked to Christ himself. A lot of them were taught by the followers of our Lord and followers of the 12 apostles. So it's really, really neat um, to learn about the saints. And I want my kids to learn about the saints because I want them to realize that, again, saints are people. People make mistakes, but through the grace of God, we can always come back. And our Lord welcomes us back. And when we decide because of free will to come back, God's like, hey, uh, I gave you a lot of talents and you're going to use them and you're going to show people everything. Um, show them what I can do. All right. So the St. Chronicles are really, really cool. My daughter and my son love these. Great, great gift. All right. Next. This book is so cool. My mom actually, my mom actually took it and she read it like in an afternoon. She's like, this is a great book. But Heavenly Host Eucharistic Miracles for Kids. It's the second edition. It has the Catholic Writers Guild seal of approval, which is awesome. But there are short little accounts of, here we go. The Miracle of Fatima, Buenos, Buenos Aires. A uh, letter from St. Philip Neri, real miracles in real places. And it, they're just a couple pages long. Like, look at this. This one's only three pages long. And so the kids can go through this and read about the Eucharistic miracles that have happened. Like, the host has actually turned into flesh. Like, that is incredible. So this is a really, really neat, neat book. Um, there is a Eucharistic miracle movie that is coming out. I'm going to post their link below. Go donate to them because they are doing some pretty amazing and powerful. Okay. So go ahead and donate to them. And then also ch check out Blessed Carlos a Q. I'm going to post him below too, but he is the young man at a very early age. I think he was like 11 when he started a website that so he started keeping track of all the Eucharistic miracles. It's really, really cool. So go check that out as well. Okay, now finally, where is it? Here we go. Get your communicant rosary beads. Okay, I'm not gonna take this off because my son, like this is for him, but it has a chalice and a host on it. Isn't that so cool? Um, and I need to get this blessed. I need to get it blessed. So I will be doing that this weekend, but get, get the child rosary beads that they can pray with and that they can talk to the Lord and that they can spend time with their mother, mother, Mary, mama, and that they can reflect on the life of Christ, which is super de duper important. So those are just some little gifts that you can get your communicant whether you are a godparent, a parent, or a supportive friend, and you are part of their life. So, oh, you can also get them a scapular too. So just a, just a thought, but those are, those are just some fun little, little gift ideas. So leave me a comment below. Let me know your top gifts that you have given someone making a sacrament, especially your first holy communion. Make sure you tap that subscribe button. God bless all of you. I'll see you next time. Bye.